Hey, good morning, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent. Early Sunday morning, November 12, 2017, proof of life, alive and well. Oh, look, the birds are coming to visit. The birds are coming to visit. What's up, birds? I got nothing today. Nothing for you guys. Ooh, they recognize me. I feed the birds a lot on Sunday. Sorry, guys, nothing today. Anyway, so, uh... I want you guys, you know, listen to the listen to the Burke, the Burke uh, recording by Chuck Palumbo that captured that recording, or someone gave it to him. However, you got it. Not important, but you heard, uh, you know, the 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 thick thick level of corruption where at the top, guy gives a direction to, you know, get agents to write ten tickets. Agency corruption. Write ten tickets. It's illegal don't care, just do it, right? And then you hear him kind of do his ballet dance, his tap dance, his side-to-side move to get out of it, switching the meaning, you know, punishment of foot patrol, and then switching it to block-facing, now it's sectoring. All right, so they're doing that ballerina dance. No change whatsoever, you know? So go definitely listen to it. If you don't want to listen to me uh, comment on it, just go right to the end of that recording, and you'll listen to the full 16 minutes in context of Burke. So what I want to do now is um, there's more stuff coming in. So other recordings, other revelations are coming in. So what I want to do is, you know, in those recordings, if, if you listen to Burke and you listen to all of the, if you read my, you know, uh, uh, appeal down below, you'll see that they've always denied that foot patrol is in fact punishment. Now, there's other forms, there's other reasons to punish people, but that's a good one when you take away their car and, uh, and, um, you basically alienate them. You know, you put them out in the cold and, you know, and, and then every once in a while you call them on the radio and tell them walk 10 blocks this way and walk 10 blocks that way. Oh, I see a, I see a violation. You gotta walk 10. It's just total, total abuse, total, total, uh, you know, um, Harassment, right? So, what I what I want to do is I have um, I have a recording of a guy who was a former sanitation enforcement agent. He was about the same time. I don't want to give away too many of the details. I want you to hear that uh, how this guy was being abused, right? How the 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 encirclement attacks, the constant the constant threats, and this is a this is a good one. You're gonna hear you're gonna hear a direct threat. A direct threat of termination for not abiding to the 10 ticket quota. Now, for me, it was different because I was able somehow to do the 10 ticket quota, right? And so they didn't have that on me. So what they would do is, for example, I would, you know, it's I was nine to five, so early in the morning I would I would head out and say if I had the village, right? The zone is in Harlem, but I would drive down to the village. And sometimes it could, if you had traffic, it could take you, you know, 45 minutes, an hour, sometimes more, just to get into a position to where you're going to, you know, do your dirty work, you know, write the tickets, right? And, and um, you know, what, I, what would happen is I'd get all the way down there, and an hour in, I would just get ready to go, and they would, they would call me on the radio and say 10-7 the zone, meaning turn around and come back. So, so, you know, so they're trying to slow you down. They're trying to, they're, not only are they, they don't want your 10 tickets, they, you know what I mean? Like, that's the only, the only reason that they can do it is so, because they're trying to get rid of you. You're, you're, you're a threat to their operation, as they say. You, you challenge the operation because it's not that you're not doing the 10 tickets. You just, you're, you're calling them out on punishing people for not doing it. Right, so, so there I am, 10 a.m. I have to turn around, drive another hour, to play a game of pin the tail on Conti and sign this and sign that. And I, you know, as much as I, I also want to say this, as much as I am animated and and I use you know some vulgar vulgarness in these um, in these presentations. That's that's the exact opposite of the way I was there because I was very I was very quiet. I was very polite, you know, uh, I was smart enough to know maybe I don't know everything and I would listen to them. 
And only in the end, when I on the final day in the final analysis, when I was terminated, did it all um, did it all make sense? Just how evil they really were. So any any notion that somehow um, I was this, I am who I am in these in these films is who I was there is is inaccurate. I was actually very polite, very professional, very 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 quiet, soft spoken, and um, right. So. What you're going to, you know, again, what you're going to hear is, is quite honest, honestly, this next, next recording, when I have time to work on it, I will soon. I have other things in my life that I like to deal with instead of, you know, taking sanitation down. But this is, this is good work, folks. You know, this is, this is good. This is community service at its, you know, at, at its finest. You know, we have to, we have to stop this abuse. And what you're going to hear is a guy, you know, good guy. I knew him. He's a nice guy, nice young kid. And he comes back with two tickets one day, right? And they badger the shit out of him. You know, but why you come? Why you come back? You can't do this. You cannot do this. This, you know, we pay you to do your job. Your job. You don't do your job, right? And they really badger the shit out of this kid, right? And what's what's fascinating about it is that. The, the, the statistical fact that he came back one day with two. He's an honest kid. He only wrote what he saw, right? And he didn't stretch. He didn't push the envelope at all. He did what he saw. He stayed true to himself, right? And he comes back with two, which is statistically accurate for the mayor's number of 87% of all tickets contested proved to have no violations found, right? So here's a guy who comes back with two. And the, and and the, the 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 you know pompous arrogant drill sergeant is 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 demanding ten. So if you don't want to if you don't want to deal with that, you you find ten, right? And and that's where that's where the, the the fraud and the abuse starts to escalate. Is there really ten tickets in the course of a day? You're going to decide. So that's all I want to say about it. Uh, you know, it's Sunday morning, and uh, it's New York. It's cold. It's like 35 degrees out. My hand is cold. <laughs> gotta keep got a glove on this hand. <laughs> this hand is bare. So anyway, um, definitely, definitely consider the revelations that Cat Lady uh, gave us about that hush meeting, hush meeting with Garcia, and you, you're going to start to see how the how the chain of command flows downstream. It doesn't flow side to side, and it doesn't flow up. It's it's all down, right? And it all comes from Burke and beyond. And uh, that's very important because their argument is that that six or seven people can't come to the same conclusion about you or somebody over there who fails to write ten tickets or speaks up about the uh, the, the ten tickets, right? But it's it's absolutely true, and that's what that's what we're going to start to to unravel how the use of the use of foot patrol, the use of um, encirclement attacks. As a team, right? It's one voice. It's coming downstream, and this is how they do it. So uh, have a nice day, and uh, see you again soon.